This is the test we will start from. Let's see how we can update it and implement page object model pattern. A quick reminder, we have two pages. The first one is named web form page and the second one is web form target page. I have created a package called palm and it contains an empty init file. Let's create two modules for our pages, one for web form page and one more for web form target page. Now in each module we will define a class containing an init function. Let's make sure we share the WebDriver instance and import the required dependencies. We are ready to define our locators and for this page we will be using two locators. The first one is my text area. Go here and copy this. And the second one is submit button. Do the same. Those two variables are tuples, but you can implement these in other ways, for example, by using other collections like a list, a set, or a dictionary. It's time to define our functions. The first one will set the text to our text area. We have to call self.driver. Let's go here and copy the find element function call and update the parameters to use my text area. And because this is a tuple, don't forget to unpack it by using the asterisk character. In this function, we add the text to our text area, so we do not change the page. In this case, we will return the same object. The second function is similar and will submit the form. But this time we change the page, so we need to return this new page. Let's see how we can do this. In web form target page module, add a similar class. First define the init function with the web driver. Then the locators. In this case, we have this message locator and define a function to get the message. Now it's time to use those page objects in our test. We can get rid of those lines, define a variable and create a web form page object, share the driver,
and start using the object functions and call set text area, then submit form and get message. Because get message will return a string, let's also put this in a variable called message. And that's it. I also want to update pytest.mark and name it selenium underscore pam. And that's it. We are ready to give it a run. As we can see, this is running as expected. Thank you for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.